Let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this. Hey, what's up, YouTube? What's up, YouTube family? What's up, YouTube divas, divos, hoes, trolls? What do you know? Here we go. What's up? Happy Wednesday, divas, divos. It's actually, guess what day it is today, actually. But you know, I'm trying to be really prepared, okay? Really prepared for this one right here. So, guess what today is? Actually, today, hello. Hello. Okay. Clear up and get crispy clear for your girl. Don't be embarrassed me, camera. So, today is actually a Sunday, okay? Why? Why are we not... Boop, boop. It's today. It's Sunday. Today is Sunday. Okay. Look, I got my ponytail on. I got. I'm fresh and clean, like always. Like you know what I'm saying. I'm just neat, and I don't really have much to do today. So I figured I would just get it out the way, and not even get it out the way like y'all is annoying to me or anything like that. Some of y'all do be, but you know, not not my ride or dies. Not not the respectable ones. The ones that be reaching and being disrespectful. Those are the ones that get on my fucking nerves. But I just figured I would do it today because I really didn't have much to do today. And then I'm lying because I really do have much to do. But I have a video ready for tomorrow, which is Monday, a braid video. Braid, not brain. And then also wanted to start making another wig because I finished making one for my website. So I wanted to make another one. And there was something else that I wanted to do. But I, girl, I can't remember at this point, you know, I can't really be remembering to do too much stuff. So, you know, I'm just saying it is what it is. But I did do a lot of things today. Okay, but whenever y'all are watching this, whether it be on a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Friday in the daytime, in the nighttime, in the afternoon time, I hope y'all are having like a really great day. So I decided to do this, okay, because I did get a couple of questions after my video that I posted, like you guys can ask me stuff and I was just going to give you like a one year post update about my life i decided because remember when i did say to you guys and i don't know why i'm yelling but i feel like the volume is good where i'm at right now so i'm gonna just keep at it but remember when i told you guys that i wanted to do like i wanted to do start doing real talk live right and i don't know if i would want to do that every wednesday though it would probably be really really easy for me to just stream it and then post it but you know i like to kind of like edit my stuff or whatever but you know can't always do that and that's cool whatever but i just figured like i did want to start doing um like you know real talk live and i don't know if that's going to be every wednesday because you know i do be having a lot to do and i don't want to commit myself to doing something on a weekly time and then i have falling off and then y'all be talking mad shit about me so the first real live real talk i wanted to do was on the i think it's the third of january is that the third because i know it's the very first one for the new year's put y'all comments below because i know y'all got something to say about the shit and now uh, here's the thing y'all know i'm two hours behind y'all okay i live on the west side okay now the west coast but so on the east coast when it's six o'clock there it's only four o'clock here y'all feel me but I'm not really worried about the time difference because, like, a bitch is... I'm always up. I get up at 6 o'clock in the morning, and then, well, y'all really want to know what time I go to sleep. Y'all going to be like, bitch, you old. Okay, so I'll be... Some days I'll be in the bed by 
um, some days I'll be in the bed by 9, 9.30. And I'm not sleeping, but I just need to, look, a bitch needs to relax. I need to relax. And even because I've been having a long day, you know, my legs be hurting and stuff. My veins and my legs, they, they be hurting. So I, I need to relax. So, I, I mean, you know, I do try to get in the bed by 9 o'clock so that I can just relax and play games on my phone, watch a little TV, write on my to-do list, you know, sit up there with my dog, Panty Pancake, right, Panty Pan? And, um, you know, what's up? And, um, come here and relax. We like to, we like to relax. Come on. So that's what we like to do. Pancake got on a Christmas dress. She got on one of her Christmas dresses. Okay. So you want to tell everybody Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas to the crowd. Hmm? No. No, I can't get it. Hmm? So, Panty has on her one of her Christmas dresses. Look, we always have it Christmas up. I got something for you guys. Hold up. Hold up. Okay, so this is what I have for you guys today. I was going to wear my Christmas lights, okay? Merry Christmas to you guys. And you know what? Let me tell you the story behind these fucking things because now I'm really pissed off. Like, I hate being pissed. Let me fix the let me fix the stand first, okay? So, of course, these are from the Dollar Tree, all right? But they were blinking. They were lit up. They were blinking. And now they don't even work. I just bought them today, and now the damn things don't even work. So I'm really upset about that because I got them only for... Real talk. Like, I figured I would wear these for you guys for real talk. Say Merry fucking Christmas. But because these stupid lights are not working, well, you guys get the gist of it. And, well, the hell with Dollar Tree and it's fucking bullshit. Okay? But anyway, Merry Christmas. Yeah, so that kind of, like, took the fun out of me wearing them. They were working, but so that's what I wanted to wear for the video. I was prepared. But anyway, I got on my weed shirt, so hey, but it is what it is. And guess what? Today I am not high for this video. I like weed. I'm going to just say this. If I'm in my house and I am chilling, okay, a girl, we ha it's, it's legal. So you know what I'm saying? I do like to smoke and relax and chill. I don't bother nobody. I don't hurt nobody. I don't go outside acting crazy. I normally don't really go outside when I'm under the influence influence of marijuana I just stay in the house because to drive girl I be feeling like I'm driving Miss Daisy and, and I know I'm driving slow sober no drinks no no weed no nothing I'm trying to like chill with the the drinking um even though like wine is, is not a is, you know what you can definitely get drunk off of wine but it just gives it just adds on extra pounds that I really don't want. So I figured the best thing for me to do is to stop the drinking because I don't drink to get drunk, so I don't get drunk. I barely get tipsy. You know what I'm saying? The most that I get is very tired. And then you know, I feel like that's just extra pounds that I really don't need. So I figured I haven't had a drink now in a minute in a long while but other than that my week has been pretty hectic and busy okay like straight up it has been hectic and super duper busy so like i was saying i really would like to do a real talk live and i want it to be the very first one for the new year which would be on a wednesday a, that would be january 5th okay that would be january 5th um we need to pick like a good time where everybody I'm no I'm I'm pretty sure not everybody's gonna be available, but like a decent time where nobody is like staying up late or it's too early. Leave your thoughts down below of what you think is a good time to do a real talk. Please make sure you put like you can put e Eastern Standard Time, Central Standard Time, because you can say five o'clock and I could think my time five, which would be seven on the East Coast and somewhere else, somewhere somewhere else. So put that. And also, because it's going to be a real talk, I also wanted to also have another good topic to talk about for real talk. So give me your thoughts and ideas of a really good topic that you would like for me to discuss on the very first real talk of the New Year's Live. So you got two tasks, the time and the topic. Time and topic. T, T, bitches. Okay. So I think I wasted enough of you guys' time. Seriously, I do. Um, if you have a real talk that you would like me to talk about, you can always send me an email to Muffin. It's my lovers2012 at gmail.com or aprilsrealtalk at gmail.com. 
please put in the subject line, Real Talk. And if you want me to change the names or you change the names to the people you're talking about, please let me know. But if you don't let me know, then of course, what am I going to do all the time? 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm going to change the names. So, on that note, let's get into this Real Talk. Huh? 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 What? All right. Hello, Miss April. You can call me Peach. I like to say I love your real talk and watching all your YouTube videos every day on my way to work. But I'm having a family dilemma and tell me if I'm wrong or not. So I keep my distance from my dad's side of the family because one, they talk shit about my mom. But quick, to, but quick to wanting her to babysit for them. And two, they feel entitled to everything. So this year, I kept my distance. I don't speak of them nor about them. No texts, no calls, just staying to myself and working and hanging out with my mom's side of the family, who they never speak to. So my aunt on my dad's side of the family reached out to me out of the blue and was saying, happy birthday. Hey, girl, happy birthday. I am going to get you a gift and drop it off to you this week. I told my aunt all oh, thanks, but I'm not accepting gifts this year, so please don't buy me anything. Thank you for your birthday wish. And she said, okay, see you soon. I didn't reply, and my birthday was early October. I never heard from her again. Fast forward to yesterday. She called my mom panicking at 10 a.m., asking her, to, is everything okay? Is everything okay? My mom was confused. It was like, uh, yeah, why? And she says, my aunt says, I bought Peaches an expensive name brand purse and she hasn't answered my phone calls to pick it up. Is she okay? My mom told her Peaches is fine and she's seen me on Sunday to help with the Christmas tree. My mother also mentioned, I know Peaches wasn't accepting gifts this year. And my aunt told her, oh well, I bought her one instead. So I went to see my mom yesterday and she told me what my aunt had said and I was confused because I never got any phone calls nor texts from her. The only one that I received was when I told her, you know, I'm not accepting gifts. Then at 2 p.m. yesterday, she calls my father saying the same thing. My aunt calls my father saying the same thing. Is everything okay and being all frantic? My dad was confused as well and my mom felt some type of way because she's like, I just spoke to her this morning. So why is she calling again asking the same questions? My father said, I don't know. She was worried and she also bought her an expensive purse. Plus, my father said her cousin, my aunt's daughter, stated she reached out to Peaches on Saturday and she didn't answer, which was a lie because Miss April, again, I never received phone calls or text messages from neither of them, meaning my aunt or my cousin, which is my aunt's daughter. My mom is like, maybe call your aunt to keep the peace. Otherwise, she's going to keep trying to pull up here and start a fight like she did last year. My aunt and cousin do this every year where if you don't speak or answer their calls or text messages, they talk shit about you on Facebook and pull up to your house wanting to fight or argue. Wow. That's why I keep my distance. I feel they are using the purse as a tactic to get close to me because for one, why would you buy someone an expensive gift if you haven't spoke to them damn near a year or two? True. It's really confusing and honestly, it's a bad cycle they carry. They act nice or want to do something nice for you and then when something gets them mad in their personal lives, they call or text out of the blue throwing it in your face saying, I did something nice for you and your ass can't call me this week. That's why I don't accept anything from them and I want to keep it that way. I am 38 weeks pregnant. They don't know that I'm pregnant and I live with my fiance. And so I feel with me being 24, I should have some freedom of not wanting to speak to them or at least have a say. Should I call just to keep the peace or stand my ground and continue not to speak to them and hope that they just move on? Thanks, Auntie April, and I love you. Peaches, I love you too. So we got Peaches who does not communicate with her father's side of the family because they catty, they just be reaching too much, okay, girl? They just start too much drama. They dramatic, okay? Just, just put it like that. Peaches does not speak to her father's side of the family because they too fucking dramatic, and they start a lot of problems. And if you don't answer their text messages or phone calls, what they do is they go on Facebook and talk shit about the family 
and then they'll pull up to the house and start arguments with you. What you return will end up either in a physical fight or a verbal fight, and nobody don't have time for that. Plus, when Peaches accepted the text message from her aunt, she did say thank you for your birthday wishes. However, I don't want a gift. I'm not accepting gifts this year. And her aunt was like, oh well, I'll see you soon. You tell me you're not accepting no gifts. Okay, bitch. Great. Then I can keep my motherfucking money in my pocket. Okay. But the aunt, we're going to call the aunt Ivy. So aunt Ivy is running around from the mother to the father of Peaches. Talking about, is everything okay? Is everything okay? Meanwhile, you already got an answer from Peaches' mother. But on top of that, she got her daughter who's also saying, well, I reached out to Peaches and she didn't reply. Peaches just want to keep the peace. She don't want to be bothered. She just want to keep her distance, okay? And now her mother is telling her, you should just call them so that way you can keep the beast. And that way they don't got to pull up here and want to argue and fight. Let me tell you something. If you pull up one to argue and fight in my house, bitch, I'm going to give you something that you going to come over here. You will never come over here for. You don't go to nobody's house starting no trouble. Just be, this, this be the problem. that You got to pick and choose your friends. It's sad that you cannot pick and choose your family members. That's the part that behooves me. Because you cannot pick and choose your motherfucking family members and some of them be the worst ones like some family members be like the type of person that you would just want to walk by in the street and not even acknowledge that's how some family members can get you because trust me when i tell you i got quite a few that i just don't fuck with because i know that you using me for one thing or another if you don't call me but maybe twice once every two years and then you want to ask me for a motherfucking wig Bitch, are you crazy? I wouldn't even send you a bad synthetic wig. This would be the problem. People always feel like, oh, because that's my blood or that's my family, then we family. Nah, it don't work like that because there are a lot of family members that I don't speak to. And what's sad is because we family and you should never feel that way. To me, I feel like family is everything. But when you have family members that just do trifling shit, you know, you treat them like you would treat somebody that you just are friends or associates with. You just stop fucking with them. Some people be like, oh, but that's your family. You shouldn't be like that. Why not? If I don't want to fuck with you, why not? Don't tell me that I shouldn't be a certain way because the reason I'm the way I am is because of the way that you are. Let me tell you something, Peaches. I'm not really sure why you're not accepting gifts, but that's cool too because you don't have to. But congratulations on your pregnancy, girl. Congratulations. And I'm pretty sure she didn't have her baby by now because this was in the very early of December when she sent this to me, which was... Um, she sent this to me December 6th, so I'm pretty sure that Peaches didn't have her baby. So Peaches, you you know, once you see this real talk, you better send me a picture of the little bundle of joy, okay? Damn, Peaches lives with her fiance. She's about to have a baby. She doesn't want to be bothered with the foolishness. One, when you're pregnant, don't nobody need to be bothered with the foolishness. When you just had a baby, don't nobody need to be bothered with the foolishness. Like, people don't realize, like, stop bringing me your drama. Stop bringing me your foolishness. Stop bringing me your dumb shit. Like. Stop bringing me your bullshit. I don't have time for it. And I'm pretty sure that Peaches feels the same motherfucking way. Let me tell you something, honey. If you want to stick to your guns and stick to what you've been saying, you don't want to be bothered with them, you want to keep your distance, then you can continue to do that. You having a baby or you've already had your baby. You have no baby. Who the hell want to hear um, somebody complaining when you got to hear a baby crying? Like, I mean, let's just be for real. Like, on some real shit, like, if you just had a baby, would you really want to be involved in some fucking family nonsense drama? Like, let's be for real. The girl probably don't even hardly get no sleep. She, she fighting herself, okay? She fighting sleep. Even though your mom, Peaches, has said, reach out to her so that way you can keep the peace. Like, I really don't honestly feel like just because you respond or reach out to her, it's going to keep any type of peace, harmony within your family ties. Because had it been that way in the beginning, then she would not have called your father and been like, everything is all right. But if someone tells you they don't want to give, they not gift given, they not accepting gifts, then bitch, it's respect it. Look, just respect how they feel. Like straight up, regardless of how bad you wanted to give them a gift, respect how how the person feel. Like if you gonna sit there and lie on me, like say that you reached out to me and I haven't replied, then I definitely don't wanna fuck with you. I just feel like this, Peaches, you just need to stick to how you feel about the whole situation and not give in. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way, but it's just like this. You try to avoid drama. I know I do. I don't really want nobody's drama. I don't really want to be part of drama. And that's just me. Some people might feel like, oh, you a punk or you scared. 
No, bitch, never scared. Bitch, not a punk at all. Bitch, I could fight, okay? But why do I need to fucking pull my energy, suck my energy out for some fucking body? That's not even worth my time. Now, if you put your hands on me, then, bitch, I'm going to put the paws on you. However, I just don't really want the drama. At the end of the day, I don't have time for it. And I know that a lot of people love drama. It gets them going. It gets their temperatures rising. It makes them happy as a person. I'm not with the drama. I'm definitely not with the drama. Like, I don't have time for it. I know me and Peaches, I don't know you on that level. But what I would say is this. Step away and leave them the fuck alone. Obviously, you did it for a reason that you want to keep your distance. Obviously, there's more than, you know, saying what you have said. Maybe it's your own personal shit. Like, I'm going to just keep my distance because I know if I don't, my hands are going to be around that bitch now. And pull up to your house and talk shit on social media. That's not cool. It's definitely not cool. When you think about it later on, you just be like, hmm, did I really do that? Not everybody might think that. I know I do because I don't like making no fucking fool, no ass of myself. You know what I'm saying? My my personal experience with family is this. Bitch, keep away from some of them because some of them ain't really your family. It don't matter if they related to you. They will hump your man or your girl in a heartbeat. They will steal from your home, okay? And they will talk shit about you because trust me when I tell you, I have had cousins and shit talk shit about me and guess what? A bitch has talked shit about them too. I just feel like some family members, you need to just leave them the fuck alone. If they bad for you, they bad for you. Straight up. And as far as your father's side of the family, guess what, girl? I don't talk to my father's side of the family neither. Isn't that crazy? I don't speak to they ass neither. Because you know why? It's not that they full of drama, but they just full of shit. Some people might say, oh, that's petty and you shouldn't be like that because that's your parent. But let's be realistic. He was never really my parent anyway. Okay, my mother raised me. And I did try to, you know have a relationship with him but i know y'all like april that's not the positive side of you you said you was gonna i am being a better person and the better person that i am is to leave you the fuck alone and keep my distance same thing that um peaches is doing so i agree with you keep your distance because some people are not worthy of your time and conversation honey let alone acknowledgement straight up it's about to be a new year okay why would you even dare to upset yourself and stress yourself out over a non motherfucking family member factor, okay? Why would you stress yourself out over somebody that's like really to you not relevant? That's your father's side of the family. You keeping the peace and you keeping your distance and continue to do such. And if she pulls up and wants to fight and argue, honey, let me tell you something. Now, I'm not a snitch and I don't be like, oh, we're gonna call the popo. And I'm not no punk, okay? Or no pussy. But I'm a grown ass woman. And I am not about to be standing outside in the middle of the street, embarrassing myself and then getting into trouble with you to where I may have to fucking bail my own self out of jail, okay? Because you drove up and pulled up with the foolish shit at my house, okay? That's what happens out here in the real world. You get pulled, you pull up and you want to fight with me or argue with me, I might end up going to jail, which means I'm going to have to bail myself out and waste money on your trifling ass. That's why you should continue to keep your distance and you can continue to keep the peace. And if she pulls up to your house wanting to start any kind of drama, well, you know what you do, honey? Let me tell you what you do. It's called 911. We, we hit that shit on the phone, okay? And tell them to dispatch somebody because it's an emergency. That way, you don't have to be bothered. You don't have to be outside making a scene and a fool of yourself. And also, you ain't got to, you know, risk having to bail yourself the fuck out of jail over no foolishness. So, Peaches, continue to keep your distance and continue to keep the peace. And continue to be harmonious in your life and love on that baby. So, you guys, I think I talked y'all ear off enough. Like, straight up. I think I really did. But I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. I'm so hungry. Thumbs the video up and I'll see y'all in the next one. Deuces.